Hello Hima friends! So many of you follow me since years by now and uh, you all know that uh, I am in love with Fiore and I study and work over it constantly. But the more a fencer grows, the more he tends to create things by himself. Especially if he or she ends up being an instructor too. So I generally answer the question, are you practicing Fiore? With uh, yes, I practice my Fiore. Because every one of us ends up learning different things by the interpretation of old textbooks. This is a key feature of manual's interpretation. It will always contain part of our individuality. So, because of this, today I am here to explain you the philosophy on which I base my own fencing style. Now, one of the key features of my fencing is simplicity. I try to use a small selection of cuts and thrusts. My way to go is, generally speaking, attacks from above, which are fendenti, only with the two edge. The attacks from below are with the false edge to control the opponent's blade generally and with the two edge to cut the exposed arms. I use low and high thrusts to prepare my action and of course to hit the opponent with or without opposition and sometimes when needed a horizontal cut, a mezzano. And basically that's it. I prefer to have a small selection of movement which I connect in different ways to create many different tactics and options. By not focusing too much on many different hands and arms gestures, I can achieve a better form and a higher precision in the few movements I use more. This leaves me more time to work over different tactics to use these few tools and to add to these tactics a proper functional footwork. The more I move forward in my fencing, the more I understand how much footwork is useful. Proper footwork brings you at the right time in the right spot, both while defending and while attacking. So one of my main focus in the last year has been mobility. Simplicity in the movements of the weapon means, as I said, more focus on tactics. Making the opponent go for the move you need to land your own action becomes even more important. So a series of feints, beats and bindings becomes crucial to land the attack. Another good aspect of fewer movement options is positioning awareness. As my movement tend to be consistent, I feel aware of where my weapon is placed most of the times. This thing makes me slightly more comfortable in my parry and riposte game and also in my sword hands grabbing game. So, this is a small analysis of my fencing philosophy. Which one is your one instead? Are you more rational or more intuitive? Are you more defensive or aggressive? Do you prefer to improvise or not? Which attack motions do you prefer? Let me know your preferences in the comment section. So, we are at the end of this short video. Remember, if you want to help me in my content creation, check the link of my Patreon page in the video description. A huge amount of exclusive content awaits you there. Thanks for watching people and uh, as always, see you next time.